this week. We'll come back to it. Moving to wide receiver, obviously our stacks. Rodgers Cobb, Rodgers Adams, Rodgers Nelson. You know, you may be able to take three of those, right? Cobb and Nelson, Cobb and Adams, Adams and Nelson. Uh, three lineups with Rodgers and hope, hope, he, uh, hope he has the kind of day that he could have and that Vegas thinks he's going to have. If you're going to take a flyer on Mariota, stack him with, you know, probably Delaney Walker and or Kendall Wright. I think Rashad Matthews will be a heavy play, overplayed this week, but I think Wright's the big play threat there. And uh, I don't know. I, I just, I'm going to fade Rashad Matthews this week. Breeze, you know, Michael Thomas has just been awesome and he's still too cheap. He is the go-to. But look, Cooks is the guy who can win you a GPP at home if Denver is missing some D-backs. So against that defense, I'm looking for the big play. So I think more people will be on Thomas. I will be on Breeze and Cooks. Simeon, that one's easy. One lineup, Sanders and Thomas. Done. 6,800 for those, each of those receivers, or I think 6,700 for Thomas. Simeon's cheap. All right, uh, Simeon is, uh, sorry. Simeon's cheap. I don't know. Uh, 5600 bucks. So you're going to be able to fit in a stud running back in there, maybe two. Cutler Jeffrey, we talked about. Love it. That's the easy one there. You could throw Zach Miller in if you wanted to do a double stack. Brady and Edelman, that's my guy this week. I'm going with Edelman until Brady feeds him. He got him a touchdown last week. Edelman ate the Seahawks alive. On DraftKings, he's a PPR, a point of per, uh, point per perception. Edelman's going to, you know, probably have 10 catches in this game. So if he can get 10 and a touchdown, good shape. Uh, he also runs the ball, you know, could have a couple of jet sweeps. Um, Ryan, everyone's going to go with Julio, you know, 9,500 bucks. I just want to point out, and we'll come back to this at tight end. Sanu at 4,600 and tight end. Okay. Jacob Tammy is going to be out. This kid Hooper is a huge play guy. $3,100 could catch a 45 yard touchdown from Ryan could catch two. Okay. So you could stack Hooper or Sanu and save an other receiver and running back and still ride Matty ice. Uh, without touching Julio at you know a very expensive price tag this week, but he's Julio. Big Ben and Brown, and I already said that. If you want to do one with Big Ben, Brown and Bell, uh, Antonio, eighty nine hundred bucks. You just have to play that. Coming back to Mac Ryan for a minute, I also think you could do a stack with Devontae Freeman this week. Uh, Cam, I'm going to stack him with Benjamin because I think Kelvin's due, and this is the game that could happen. And I'm going to stack him with Olson. Um, couple other receivers I like. I said I like Robinson. I think he'll have a good week. I love J.J. Nelson. Uh, keep an eye on Jordan Matthews. Atlanta has a terrible pass defense. And I think uh, Jordan Matthews has a chance for 8 to 10 receptions and a touchdown this week. Uh, and they said Jamison Crowder, if you're going to take anyone from, from Washington, Deshaun Jackson is out. Or looking like he's out. So top five, Antonio Brown, Jeffrey, Sanders Thomas together, Julio, J.J. Nelson. Uh, this is a big, big, big running back week. Okay. So I said it before. David Johnson, $8,400. Just put him in your lineup and move on. Put him in your lineup and move on. Over Zeke. Over Bell. He's playing San Francisco. He absolutely could have three touchdowns. He absolutely could have 200 combined yards. Got to play him. He'll be the chalk. If he isn't, then you're going to really win out. Melvin Gordon, coming off a 186-yard, you know, crazy game. But Miami, right back at it. 30th pat rush defense, right on the heels of San Francisco at 32. So Melvin Gordon's cheaper than Elliott or Bell, and I kind of like him in here again, riding him back to back. Uh, then, you know, Zeke, I've been saying you can't ever fade Zeke unless you're playing, unless David Johnson's playing San Francisco. Um, Zeke plays Pittsburgh, 13th ranked run defense. I like him. Going to have him in some lineups, obviously, because the guy, again, like Brady, until he, I lost you. Here, hold on one second. Till he goes, uh, there we go. Until he goes off, you know, I like him there. Um, Le'Veon Bell, at some point, this guy's going to go off and explode. Dallas is a stingy run defense, six in the NFL. So I will have a share of Le'Veon Bell, but not a lot. I want to rifle off a couple names I like across the board here. If Chris Ivory can hold on to the football, he's lost the football in four straight games. He's playing a weak, week, 28th-ranked Houston rush defense. Okay. Uh, has the potential for a big week, and he's cheap at 3400 Jonathan Stewart playing a very weak Kansas City. You know, everyone thinks Kansas City's defense is so good. 27th against the rush, $4,900. Howard. The number one thing that worries me about Cutler is Howard because 
Tampa, 25th rush defense. Howard, a little expensive, 6000 but could have a good week. Uh, Mark Ingram, again, coming off against Denver. Probably you fade that one, but Denver's rush defense is where you do attack them. Ingram at 5400 but I think I'll fade him, but I wanted to point that out. We talked about Devontae Freeman versus the Eagles, but I think you know you got to worry about Matt Ryan throwing all over the place in that game. Hillman. Ronnie Hillman is starting to get carries. The skins are terrible against the rush. Hillman's explosive. Keep an eye on that. $3,500. He's a guy you could put in a GPP and he could absolutely get zero points. That's the risk. But he has huge game potential. And if you look back the last four years, Ronnie Hillman has been a beast from week 10 on every season. Keep an eye on Ronnie Hillman. He's better than Aziata. He's better than McKinnon. He's becoming the starting back over there. Um, and then the Rob Kelly, $3,600. Yes, he's playing the Vikings. Yes, they have a tough, tough defense. But he is now the starting running back for the Washington Redskins. And he is explosive. So keep, strong, powerful. He's like a young Legarrette Blount. Keep an eye on him. Um, tight, so top five. Johnson, 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 and Johnson. Then you go Gordon, Elliott, Freeman, Howard, and then you can sprinkle in some Kelly, Ivory, and Hillman to save some money. Tight end, easy this week. Save some money. Olsen's a great play, always at 5,900. Zach Ertz, next drop down, 3,700. Should eat Atlanta alive. And then I said Hooper, $3,100. Huge play opportunity. Absolutely can play him. And save some money there. I said about Ladarius Green, if he's active, if he's starting, 2500 But I think that's risky until you see how he does. Keep an eye on Hunter Henry. They say he's going to play this week. Only $3,000 due to his injury. Again, Miami, very vulnerable against the tight end. Zach Miller, 3600 Cameron Bright. There's a lot of plays out there, really five or six. But for me, if you're not going to go Olsen, I'm going Hooper this week. Uh, maybe sprinkle in a little bit of Ertz, a little bit of Henry. And then defensively, I got four plays. I'll scatter them all about equally. I like the Skins, $3,000 against the Vikings. I, I just, at Washington, Minnesota's offense is struggling. Um, not my only or favorite play, but I like them. I like the Jets, actually, uh, quietly for 2800 this week. I just have a feeling their defense will kind of have, have a big week this week. I like the Chargers versus the Dolphins, and I kind of like the Jaguars because $2,300. And look, Brock Osweiler sucks. Bottom line, at some point he'll go off. Fuller's banged up, so he's down a receiver. The guy could throw three picks. He could throw a pick six. This is a long 16-minute video. Bill, you're going to kill me. We're doing it from the car. We got interrupted a few times, but you get the information. This is a big week. Last week was awesome, okay? Go out and win some money. You got a $444 millionaire maker. One lineup. If you do that, you got to have David Johnson in that lineup. You have to probably, probably look at Big Ben in that lineup. That's my opinion. Um, there's a $44 contest on DraftKings and a four. All big money. It's a big money week. So good luck. Sorry about the uh, delivery from the car. Guys.